go again. This is the uh, WBC International Championship fight. Peter Venancio from Sao Paulo in Brazil against Silvio Branco from Italy. Both with a good bit of experience behind them, that's for sure. A light heavyweight match over 12 rounds. Disco afterwards, he could always wear the same, uh, <laughs> same outfit. <laughs> I'm have to look for, for 41 here. Well, he looks quite surprisingly, he looks you know. Well, certainly, we've got, we've got a bit of experience, haven't we, between these two guys? Buonasera, Silvio Branco. Ich darf Ihnen beide Kämpfer genauer Let's vorstellen their, uh, aus der roten Ecke. Uh, Peter the of the, of the back, Brasilien. Colin. Er ist yes, 43 yeah. Jahre alt, 1,83 groß, 77,6 Kilo schwer und sein Kampfrekord 46 Siege, 36 durch K.O. Entertaining fight. What's your feelings, Colin, in, 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 in regards? There seems to be a, 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 a lot of boxers now, you know, up and around this age range. And um, I don't know, what's your, what's your thoughts on it? I personally, I, I don't like to see fighters boxing for too long. Obviously, it all depends on the type of fighter, which who you are, you know, how you fight. You know, if you're a boxer, obviously, you've got uh, a longer, a longer time span, but. You know, boxing is really is a young man's sport, and you know, you want to be, uh, be out of it, you know, as soon as possible, Lawrence really. Cole. I suppose the problem is, I mean, you look at Evander Holyfield, who was, uh, who was just boxed, and, you, you know, from a physical point of view, he still looks in incredibly good condition. Yeah, well, without a doubt, I think sometimes that's, that's the problem. People see people like Evander Holyfield and George Foreman, and they want to kind of continue boxing, but ultimately, you've got to realise that, you know, boxing is a dangerous sport, oh, sure. and, you know, for your health, you know, it's not, it's not um, advisable to, you know, for boxing for too long. And, and, and you know, you, 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 although the, the physical attributes are still there, uh, as far as looks are concerned, I think you do tend to lose the edge, don't you? You tend oh, to lose, that, you're I? losing your speed, you're losing with that. I mean, even for people like you found the Holyfield, losing to people who you know... Ring you know, five, five oh, the the just, yeah, you know. Right, well, here we go. You know, it's already Branko holds his left oh, hand very, very low. Yeah, and yeah. The, yeah, absolutely. The ref's on that, and a bit of a complaint coming in from Valencio. So, um, let's hope he doesn't try too much more with that. Very low hands. Yeah, he holds that hand, left hand very, very, very low, low, which. Um, What's going on here? Oh, what's going on here? He turned his back, which is... Uh, right there. <laughs> Protect yourself at all times. Oh, well, absolutely, yeah. Colin. I Box. mean, um, you know, you, you can't blame Branco, then you? you? The referee didn't tell him to stop, so he's fully entitled to carry on. Stop. Never a good sign, though, when... Someone's complaining from the off. I mean, you tend to have to go through some of these things, don't you? That's right. Still complaining, look. Minus one. Oh, and he's on a warning. Minus one. Holding. That didn't take long, did it? Okay. Minus one. Minus one. Holding. Hitting. Okay. He's been warned, man. Lost the point. Yeah, he's lost his point already, I'm afraid. So, um... Stop! 
Well, you know, this has got 12 rounds to go, this, and um, with, with, that, with that sort of a start, you wonder, they need to settle <laughs> down, don't they? And uh, Branko certainly needs to get a little bit more control. Open up to quite an entertaining fight, actually. Uh, they're both quite open, so yeah, um, absolutely. They're um, both going for it, so they're going for it. You're absolutely right, Colin. I've got to tell you, I think this low handed approach, uh, unless you're supremely confident, which maybe he is, is, is such a silly way to start a fight until you, you've learned a bit more about your opponent. That's right, it would be you know, risky. And I think you need extremely fast reflexes to, to do yeah. that. And has he got those at age 41? Hey, well, I think Venancio just returned the compliment around the back of the head with that one. But Time. How do you see that? Yeah, that's yeah. Hard way to score off yeah. the point of deduction. I think that's what you've got to take into yeah. consideration. Yeah. 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 They can quite clearly see it holding a hit in there, so yeah. that, um, with the valid deduction now. Il sinistro tiene sempre lì, boom. quando lo vedi che si butta in avanti, si vede, si va indietro, boom, e gli metti quel destro. Ma Benazia. prendi il tempo, una volta che prendi il tempo con il primo sinistro arrivano tutti, sì. Arrivano tutti. Ma devi, devi essere scattato. But they're both not, not, not afraid to actually let the punches go. And they're both being caught, so I think it could open up to be, you know, a good fight as the um, as round progress. feeling he's gonna if he's not careful he's gonna catch one here because uh his chin is too high yeah <coughs> far too high no guard at all and uh Benantio fancies his chances with that i think <coughs> we're showing these two as the same height on the statistics and uh, i i I'm not too sure about that. Franco looks um, a couple of inches taller, well, at least a couple of inches taller. So I don't know whether it's the stance of the uh, Brazilian, but he, um, no, no, he's. in here is there this is there's a bit of noise going on but I, i'm not seeing a lot of point scoring do you agree yeah, i agree i think it's a very difficult round to score I mean, obviously Benko's trying to make the fight at the moment but um 
as you say, nothing of substance being done by either by either oh, fighter. That was the word I was looking for, Colin. Substance. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Time! I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm mixed on that one. Difficult about the score. I think yeah. um, possibly Branko was actually making a fight, taking a fight to um, yes. Valencia, so possibly... You know, edge, it. edge it to, to Benko there. Uh, on, on aggression, maybe. When he plays left, he is playing with Jeb. And Jeb is falling on your hand to play left. It's just to give the counter attack. Quando ele joga à esquerda, você sai e pum, ou sai para trás e entra com o contra-golpe. Vai tentando, tenta esse golpe. Well, I'm glad his coach has got a matching, uh, <laughs> matching attire. <laughs> it looks like a Roman gladiator. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? Mm. I'm trying to think. We've got a boxer over here, haven't we, in the UK with a similar... Uh, some of the boxing attire. What is his name? I can't complain because I actually used to be one of those many years ago. So, oh. <laughs> so I can't say anything. Where was that, Colin? So that while here. you were boxing? While I was oh, boxing, right, yeah. okay, well, that's all right then. Nice one, two there. He's followed it up. Banker looking very new business at the moment, trying to land those big shots, but yeah. not having too much success. Do you see this going 12 rounds, Colin? No, I think they're both, yes, they're both trying to make a bite of it. They're both throwing some big oh, shots, sure. and they both look to be quite open, so... Um, yeah, maybe yeah. someone's going to go, eh? I, th I think so. Good right hand by Banker. It was. I'd, 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 he looks the stronger, doesn't he? Do you think? He's got nice long arms, and yeah. I think um, at the moment he's been able to connect every now and again. And um, he does seem to have that kind of power to, to hurt Venetia. Shots and uh, when he had connected, they have seemed to um, you have a, a little bit of an effect. Sneaked a cute little right hand, and hand in there as well. I don't know if you saw that, Colin, but there was a choppy little right hand going through there. And I thought, boy, every now and again, they throw the occasional, you know, clever shot, and uh, I think I'll have to give him that round too. Yeah, I'm going to give him that one. I, I, actually, I actually gave it even in the last round, whereas I know you edged it with... Uh, I think you edged it with Branko. Branko I I yeah, I, I put the last one down as even, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to give, it, uh, give him that one, that's for sure. 
They're all missing, and there he goes. He's, uh, I'm trying a bit too hard there. <laughs> Quando, quando viene che tu vai indietro allora hai sbilanciato e arrivi bene yeah, we could have a cut there right there cut yeah wait until he came inside and he, he looked for it and, and uh, uh, yeah Just joining us, we are live from Berlin, the Estrel Convention Center in Berlin. Seconds out with Jalipo. Uh, got a great night lined up for you, that's for sure. And I'm uh, sitting here with Colin McMillan, who, as you uh, would probably know, is uh, uh, XWBO World Featherweight Champion. And at the moment, we're in the middle of a vacant WBC International competition uh, contest between Peter Bonancio from Brazil and Silvio Branco from Italy um, we're in the fourth round at the moment and uh, I think Colin and I both have Branco edging ahead here at the moment <coughs> two seasoned professionals I might add plenty of fights behind them Worth of experience, you can see them in the way they fight, they're quite, both quite cute and uh, a lot of head movement from Valencia at least. Obviously, very. Uh, he's got, he holds his very low uh, hands, as, as, as we can see, and he's obviously very confident in his ability. With such a low defence. Question is whether Valencia is going to take advantage of that. At the moment, yeah, I don't think he's had too much success, though. As a result, I think. Uh, Banker with uh, continuing to do that. Yeah. I'm too worried at the moment. I think you're right. They're, they're, they're fighting at a, a, a you know a reasonable pace here. Two light heavyweights. Um, I think in this particular round, nobody's actually taking control with. And a very difficult. It is a difficult. Round I'm, round I, I, I agree with you, Colin. I'm finding it a very difficult fight all round to score this. Not too many clean punches, and no one taking control of the fight. So yes. I'm going to have to go on even for this particular fight. Yeah. Around, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds, it's 70 
Round then he turned him in the corner and hit round to the right. <laughs> they certainly mean business, these two, don't they? It's, it's, it's not the tidiest of fights at times, but they, they certainly mean you know they, they mean business. Yeah, obviously, you've got a championship on the line, and I think they're both you know quite you know, proud fighters and they're both trying to take control, but. Branko at the moment seems to be you know, slightly edgy. Uh, yeah. right. He seems a bit more controlled, uh, taking initiative and countering well. Maybe again using that jab to seize control of the fight. Edging it, Colin. He just seems to be a little bit more accurate, a little a bit more purposeful, I think, in his, uh, in his approach. Yeah. yeah. Third round for the end of the fifth. Coming up. Another round for Banco. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I clearly give that one to. Uh, I've got him a point ahead, actually. You've got him two points ahead, I think. Am I right? Oh. You are correct. Actually, I've got him three. You got him three yeah. points, OK. <coughs> yeah, I think the champ's been the key, the key weapon for Banco at the moment. Able to keep the Brazilian at bay and... Uh, and help him <coughs> make the fight at the moment. Ring fight, round six. Round six. Oh, round six coming up. Seconds out. Stop. Stop. It's a very sort of a martial arts type stance he has there, isn't it? With his uh, such a low left hand and flicking it up in the way he's doing. <coughs> seems to be judging the distance quite well, though, just out of range. You're right. For Valencia, so he can't quite get those counters over the top. And uh, again, getting back to the jab, and uh, there we go. Some nice shots by Bunko. very much on his front foot um, in the way he's delivering these shots is Branko which you know it makes me feel well if Venancio was to actually get some more solidity behind some of his shots then draw him in you know he could catch him off balance and maybe clips him but I don't know it's a, as, you, as you said it's a difficult one this to score isn't it it's He's definitely edging it. Yeah, I think at the moment, I think uh, Branko's got his range quite well, just stepping in and out of distance to throw his shot, but for scoring with the jab, moving back, yeah. and not allowing, you know, Valencia the um, opportunity to, to land any meaningful punches. Work 
is mostly upstairs from Branco. He, he, he seems to concentrate mostly upstairs on the headshots. Um, good hand speed. He's starting to land a little, a little more frequently now, uh, Branko. Yeah. been that key that key for him he's been able to keep Valencia at bay he's, he's, he's doing exactly that isn't he <coughs> I certainly think there's a height discrepancy you know, as I said um, I'm the same height but I don't I think he's a good two inches taller but consequently, I think he's much rangier as well. I think that one hurt. Well, he's moving ahead comfortably. If he can maintain this pace. Yeah, I think at the round they're progressing, I think Bank is looking at a more polished uh, performer with yeah. utilising that jab. And uh, occasionally find a good right hand like that, and uh, it's definitely keeping um, Valencia at bay. I've got to send the stoppage record, actually. Um, Valencia has had 36 stoppages. He stopped 36 people um, compared with Franco uh, uh, stopped 34. Yeah, so they, they got a, you know, had, a, had a few more fights. Having said that, Branco, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's it's quite a good match, isn't it? On the, go, going by the record, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a very competitive match actually. So um, I think all, all the fights today look at that very um, well matched. They were in for. Yeah, well, it's nice to see that, isn't it? Because we have can happen so often now where the, you know you really haven't got that and, and, and to, to see a close competition is so much better isn't it mm. I'm, sure I'm still trying to picture you Colin in that in that Roman outfit we're talking about <laughs> seventh round as you can see 22 seconds to go and uh, certainly Colin and I have got uh, Branco pulling ahead reasonably comfortably at the moment seems to be the much more uh, in control 
landing the uh, more point scoring shots. But it's a busy fight, that's for sure. Yeah, I must admit, I did think the fight would open a bit more, but like uh, he's kind of going down a kind of predictable pattern at the moment with Branko just staying behind that long snaking left jab yeah. and uh, edging the way of the fight kind of progresses. I think Venezia really needs to try and do something now to salvage this fight if he really wants to, you know, win the championship. Well, he's going he's to have to start doing something, isn't he, at this point? I've got three, two good punches here, so maybe you've heard it and uh, <laughs> a little bit more urgency in his work now. Well, he's most certainly trailing at the moment, and uh, this is us in round eight. So he's cutting it fine. If this is, if this is going to go the distance, he needs to be winning everything at the moment. Definitely needs to come and pulling a few rounds back if he wants to be content in contention you know, by the end of the fight. It's funny enough because the banker seems to have slowed down himself, you know, not quite as uh, authoritative as he was before. But they've been pretty intense. I mean, it's, it's, as I said, it's not necessarily been the prettiest. Um, that, but they, they've been pretty intense and they've been firing pretty strongly, you know, and obviously especially Branko. He's put some effort in, that's for sure. Yeah. I don't like this low hand, you know, I, I really don't like this low hand approach. Because every now and then he's getting caught and I mean, it just, you know, makes you think, well, look, I mean, you know, he's pushing his way in here to try and throw that right hand through. Yeah, Valencia definitely getting closer and that's what you need to do, try and... Get and there it is again. Look, I mean, it's coming in every time. That that will land every time. <laughs> Got his hand caught in the ropes there, around Blanco. And <laughs> <laughs> this is better work by the beginning. So we need to try and do, make it yeah. into more of a slug. Uh, well, they're tough boys, these Brazilians, aren't they? They really are. and he's quite low and if he can come over the top he, 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 you know he's pulling it through and he's I'm not sure he's got quite got his range yet as you can you know you can see there I and mean, I mean you think by this stage of the game he should have that um, but I, I do believe that if, um, if he is going to do something to Branko it's going to be with that right hand and over the top yeah over that the top to be you know it, it's got to be the one isn't it because he's he's leaving himself wide open for it and with all the experience in the world that all accounts for nothing when those knuckles land on that jet, so... Maybe we might get a replay of some of those right hands that came across, because he, he, he chopped in a few there. How'd you see that last round, Colin? Well, actually, uh, uh, even though 
he was a lot better by Valencia. I still uh, thought it was an even man. I'm, I'm with you 100% on that. That's exactly what I'm going for. I've got Branko three rounds ahead, as it happens at the moment. Um, so I said, we're what, coming up to round nine now? Uh, and if Valencio is going to do anything here, then he's going to he's got to win these next four rounds, as far as I'm concerned. I think you've maybe got um, I think another got Branco, round in it there, yeah, haven't you, on, on Branco's side? I've got so a lot more yeah. ahead now, and I yeah. think uh, all we need to try and do is kind of go through these rounds, and he, and he should have the fight won. But obviously, no doubt, he want to try and damp the fight unit to to be a bit more conclusive. Well, I don't see Branko e easing off. I think he's, you know, he, f he, he feels confident, he's in control, and I'm sure he can uh, uh, run this pace, you know, for the next few rounds as is required. So, the, you know, the work is really going to be down to Venancio here. He's the man that's Neat behind, it. he's the man that's got to make it into it. Force it. And yeah, I agree with you there, but I think um, possibly Branko took a breather off last round, and, you know, he needs to kind of re establish that jab. And, uh, take control of the fight again. I think he kind of let it go a little bit in the last round and I think he's going to want to, as he's doing at the moment, be a little bit more authoritative. He does seem to have an answer, uh, Branko, for anything that Venancio comes up with, doesn't he? Yeah, I think you think, he's, he's, you know, Valencia is starting to force it a bit, but he, Branco then sort of, he seems to have the answer to it, doesn't he? Yeah. I think the, the, the key at the moment is to... Uh, How was that right hand again? Yeah, he's getting closer. Well, I'll he's tell you what, closer. he wants to be careful. He might be ahead by a good few rounds, as you and I think, but... Uh, Just takes one punch. That's it. And it's good night, Vienna. Yeah, he's definitely trying that right hand, trying it for measure. Yeah. I think he heard us. <laughs> I actually think Venancio has got a, a better range of punches. I mean, he, he goes to the body when the opportunity's there. And I'm watching Branco, and everything is upstairs, which is fine. But just to the point, you know, he's... Yeah, he did like a bit of variety. Would it be yeah. nice to see him play if they work to the body a little bit? But at the moment, didn't appear to be doing that at all. No. That was a bad cut. That's no, a bad cut. It is a bad cut. That's a very bad cut. So. Accidental headbutt. Accidental. 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 Okay? It looks in quite a bit of pain there, whether or not you want to continue. Well, this will be interesting to see what happens here. He's called it as accidental. Seems to be in quite a bit of pain yeah. there. Okay. Right, it's over. Stay. It's over. It's, we're going to stop the fight. It's inside. Okay. Okay. Accidental headbutt. No point. Okay. So, no point deduction. It's accidental. Come on. It goes to the scorecard. No, no, no. no. It goes to the scorecard. No, it's accidental. That's, it goes to the scorecard. It goes to the scorecard. That's what I thought. It's an accidental headbutt. You've got to go to the scorecard, which means that Franco uh, should take this. Okay. I haven't seen. I've seen the blood. I haven't seen how bad the the opening is. Uh, I think you're just above the above the eye, which yeah. is possibly you know, the reason why yeah. I stopped the fight because obviously you get the blood coming over your eye. Yeah. And it did look quite quite nasty. The accident yeah, yeah. 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 head there. Yeah, and, 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 and as they rightly said, I, I don't see that as a, an intentional blood. No. I think. He, he, he was trying to turn in his left hook there, wasn't he? And that was a uh, clash, of head, clash of head coming across the body as he was trying to throw that hook. So um, I think I'll give him the benefit of that on that one. Profondo e lungo, vero? It's, it's, um, as I said, I'm, I would like to have seen a bit closer that, that cut, but I mean, uh, because they've only given it a wipe and there's nothing, uh, flowing at this stage, is there? 
I think Benko looked a little bit worried when he heard of referee initially. I thought he'd uh, he was going to lose the fight. He was going to lose the fight. You're, you're, you're 100% right on that one, Colin. But um, obviously, uh, as we said, it's uh, unintentional. It's gone to the scorecard. So. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if he wouldn't deem to be ahead any particular stage. I'd be a bit more than surprised. <laughs> Well, I had him three rounds up at that point. I think you had him uh, maybe four or five rounds up at that point. Yeah. I had him a clear one, I must admit. Yeah. Technical decision. We are coming to the scorecards. It's Sergio Silvi from Luxembourg, 88-82-88-82. Jürgen Langos from Germany, 89-81, 89-81. Robin Dolbert from France, 88-82. And the winner and the new. WBC well, I hate to tell you this, Colin, but I think Italy. you got it right. Silvio Branco. I thought Plan Branco was going to be the Latino champion. The girdle will be overreached by the supervisor from Tunisia, Osin Guichi. That's why I hate sitting next to world champions, you know. <laughs> no problem. No, you got it right too. <laughs>